father olfactory is talking to the mother superior. Sister Joan Murray. And she says, are you sure you want me to do this? And the good father tells the good mother superior. Yeah, it comes straight from the Vatican. Pope himself. He figures if uh, we check the nuns, particularly the uh, younger blonde or not, see if uh, they see anything. And that's on the Carpenter Mary wound imagery, then that will let us know what the parishioners are seeing. And he hands her the uh, DVD. And she takes it, and that night, you know, at the convent, after, you know, they've had dinner, she puts the DVD on the computer and gathers all the sisters of the convent there together, the Eve, Amanda, Barbara, all of them. Eleanor. And she says after they've watched some of the, my some of the Carpenter Mary parables, the imagery, in particular the wound. The big uh, oh hand size. Yeah, spring break 2014. Son of a carpenter and Mary wound. Sins of mankind wound showed up then. It must have been a particularly bad spring break. Uh, oh, it showed up on the elbows, the hand, the, f the feet, uh, ankle, ankle biter wound. Well, be good for your immortal souls. And the son of a carpenter Mary, John Milton Brady. For my, uh, you know, sins of mankind wounds. Be good. And after the, you know, they watch uh, some of that imagery, I... They watch the, uh, the Semper Fi checks as well, the World Trade Center Flight 93 checks. You know where my funny son of a carpenter and Mary stuff ends. I always give you something you can check worldwide. Call from those military bases worldwide. 424-229-4140. Make a video of your hijack call to John Melton Brady. I've been asking for those 93 checks of America's lifeline. For over seven years, I have yet to get one. Your job, all of you American soldiers worldwide, is to protect America. This is part of that. You gotta do the job reporters aren't doing. Make a video of your hijacked call to John Melton Brady, 424 229 And, uh, yeah, from the military base there, tell your friends, tell your family back home. To call in front of the mayor, the governor, senators, reporters, network news anchors, officials, local, state, federal, call in front of them, demonstrate your hijack lifeline. You don't know when else that phone won't be allowed to work, like when you need the firemen, the police, the paramedics. It's still going to be a newsworthy thing. That's why you got to do the job of reporters. Call in front of that reporter, 424-229-1140. You get their reaction, all those folks, to that lifeline in your hand not working. Whatever you get when you don't get John Melton Brady, haven't gotten one.
And yeah, I was in the Burlington Convalescent Hospital after those uh, sins of mankind, particularly rough. Spring break 2014, I was in the Burlington Convalescent Hospital for a year and a half. Didn't get any call there. About the imagery, about uh, Semper Fi checks, uh, none of that. That's a lot of very managed censorship. Make that video from those military bases, tell your friends, tell your family, call from uh, home here in America, in front of that mayor, in front of that governor, senator. Get the reactions for your simplified DVDs to pass along at work, at church, at school, at that convent, at that uh, military base. And yeah, you got to come see me in person. That's the way around religious centers. It has been for a long time. Walk through those, uh, I call them lorries. They can act nice as can be. Like they are uh, got the best interest of the world at heart. Call me up in front of them. They'll show their true colors. An excuse for it. Uh, get angry. Uh, have a story to tell. Whatever. Get it on video. Aside from, yeah, the reactions of all those folks, the dangerous censorship in America. And, yeah, you got to walk through what I call those uh, folks taking part. We're going to tell you one story or another about the one and only John Melton Brady, son of a carpenter mayor. Got to walk through them when you see someone other than me and my chains and eyes. And, yes, all you on the military bases, uh, authority figures of any kind, worldwide. That's how you, you know it's happened. We start building Jesus' house, Christ complex. You see someone other than me and my changing eyes right here. Because until then, you have walls and walls of people. Wolves among the sheep in the way. And never more obvious than when you pick up that phone and call me. Can't reach me. Don't know when else those folks hiding in the shadows going to hijack a call to me. Yes, that's religious censorship. My funny little parables here. Yeah, you not being able to call me up, tell me what you believe, doesn't have to be what you hear in church on Sunday. What you think? You not being able to call me up, tell me what you believe, that's religious censorship in America. That definitely should not be. Yes, I keep saying that. All those uh, Husseins and Omars and Osamas and Obamas, all those folks with funny names. Getting on those planes years and years ago, 2000, around the turn of the millennium. All those folks getting on the planes, that was uh, as terrorists. It was religious censorship. You can document this religious censorship with a uh, $50. That's what's making this parable right here. $50 phone. $50 digital camera. Do that. Pass that video along at church, at work, at school. you got to be the reporter if they're not doing the job. If they're not doing the job with something as easily documented as that, who knows what else they're not covering. Huh? Make that video. Pass it along. Come see me in person. Let's get started. Building those Christ complexes. Jesus' is house here. And yes, any good priest will know and will tell you how to start that. Built on truth. Put that first brick in Jesus' is house. With a Semper Fi video of your hijack call to me. John Milton Brady. 424-229-414. Tell everyone else you know as you hand them that flash drive, that DVD, full of Semper Fi videos, America being the reporter. Tell them to add their video to that. Now back to my funny parable. I'm over nine minutes here, almost ten. Mother Superior Joan Marie asked the, uh, the good sisters there. Did you notice anything in there? And 
Sister Eve says, anything out of the ordinary, anything different? And Eve says, yeah, oh, of course I did. I, why are you showing us a man with a tattoo of the Virgin Mother wearing a glasses? Why are you showing us that? And the Mother Superior doesn't know what she's talking about. And Amanda has to go to the computer and pull up the image. And he has that big wound with that. Just, just starting to close. Yeah, they say a lot of folks. Yes, even those not smoking stuff. Are having visions, watching those wounds. And yeah, that's what the... The Pope wants them to find out. Then my funny little parable here. And the Mother Superior says that, that right there, that that's the Virgin Mother wearing a tattoo of the Virgin Mother. And Eve said, oh yeah, don't you see that? Oh yeah, that's Mom. Mary. Oh, yeah, like me, kind of nearsighted. I'm growing a new pair of eyes. Working on losing those glasses. You will see Mom in a vision or two with uh, the glasses. You know why the statues and all that don't have them? Cause, you know, they didn't have them way back then. Nowadays, you're sitting on some bleachers somewhere and you... Uh, See a, a, a vision, check it out, see if it's mine. And Mother Superior you know, writes it down, so he's got to turn it into Father Olfactory, he's got to turn it into the bishop, bishop's got to turn it into a Rome, a, a, a Vatican City. Is that all you saw there? And he smiles and says, Oh, yeah, you didn't get that past me either. I know they got all those high-tech toys doing the imagery altering, the photo altering, and all that. You can take the long hair off and the beard off. But, uh, yeah, I saw you know, son of a carp, handsome son of a carp, and Mary there. Come see me, tell me what you think. Don't write me letters about you. Know, don't talk like that about the nuns. Don't write me letters. I'm not going to get them. For one thing, I'm in between uh, places to certify your stolen mail to. No, not one. Not one Semper Fi video. Not one Semper Fi, one Semper Fi call. Flight 93 check call. Or, uh, yeah, there's the one there. Nice big one there. What do you see? Uh, not one, any certified letters either, not even at the Burlington Convalescent Hospital. Got a bit of random here, but I'm not even going to give you that. I got it on the template, but uh, yeah, I'm looking to move quick. Come see me. Be a part of building the Christ complex. Got to do that uh, in person. Yeah, that religious censorship, funny as it might be. My parable. Not funny when you call me up, can't tell me what you play. Be a part of changing that. Be a part of reaching the people with these DVDs. With your videos of truth. And let's start building. Jesus is out. You know what's happening when you see it right here. Be a part of making it happen right there in person.